Five, a new sewage treatment plant could soon be built in the middle of the west side of Indianapolis. CBS4's Russ McQuaid visited that area where the plant may become an unwelcome neighbor. The corner of Tibbs and Morris on the city's west side is already a pretty beat up part of town. So the neighbors out here are wondering, would adding a sewage treatment plant to this community actually make things better or worse? The Ben Davis Conservancy District wants to build a wastewater treatment plant on this seven acres of ground on South Tibbs Avenue, wedged between an interstate and some railroad tracks. It would be just up the street from the former Chrysler Foundry site and within two miles of the existing Belmont Municipal Sewage Treatment Plant. I don't see the point of it. I really don't. Because if, if they already got a sewage plant there next to Holt, they're down the road from here, literally less than 10 minutes away, why put one over here? The smells here are already bad. The Conservancy District went before the Metropolitan Development Commission's hearing examiner on Thursday to get a property rezoning in order to build the plant. And the commission staff admits sewage treatment plants are something everybody needs, but nobody wants. This site will save the district over one point five million dollars as compared to other sites. This particular land can never be used um, for residential agricultural use or contain a potable well or a daycare center. The plant's neighbors don't live in the district and say they won't get to use it. We just get the risk. We breathe the stuff but we can't hook up to it. We get all the pollution but we can't hook up to it. And the site is right along I-70. And we're going to welcome all of our out of town guests for the next uh, championship basketball championship game with a new um, sewage plant as you come into the city off the interstate. The hearing examiner said she expects her decision to approve the rezoning to be appealed. And the neighbors told me that's exactly what's going to happen. On the west side, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News. Russ,